So I'm in beautiful Amelia Island, Florida. Came up to hang out with my friend Leslie again. I asked her what's the one video that she would love to make. <laughs> yes, the Pippi Longstocking filming locations filmed right here and around Amelia Island. I'm gonna we're gonna take you to all the locations, starting with the beautiful house, the Villa Villa Coola. But I already have a place in a children's home. Where? Well, look. I'm a child and this is my home. Therefore, I live in a children's home. The New Adventures of Pippi Longstocking, based on the books from back in the day and based on this, the TV series in Sweden and the movies from 1969. The US version was filmed here on Amelia Island in 1987 and was released in 1988. And this is the house they used for the Villa Villa Coola. What are you doing up there? Looking up for a storm. So if you're anything like me, and you used to watch this when you were a kid, then you may be a little upset to know that they never actually filmed inside this house. Maybe some scenes, some quick scenes, but the majority was filmed on a sound stage in Jacksonville, Florida. So anytime you see them inside, whether skating around on the floor, cleaning the floor, or making food, or running around, that was on a stage, not in this house, unfortunately. You can actually kind of tell sometimes when some of the shots, they look very obvious that it's the outside is fake. It's part of the treasure from King Solomon's mind. Some people, when they come here, they're confused because they say that the front doesn't look anything like it did in the movie. In reality, they never really used the front main door. They always used the side door. So the front door, which is right here, actually, even in some of the scenes, is completely blocked off. Uh, it's boarded up. What they use is the side Right there, you can kind of see that right there, the side view. Nice of you to call. I'm Pippalata Delicatessa Window Shade Longstocking. Pippi for short. Pippi, <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Hello. Come on, Pippi. I'm coming. So in the movie, there would have been a huge shed here or barn. Now there are plenty of locations all throughout this area. The children's orphanage, the school, the main town where the ice cream food fight takes place. We're gonna take you to all those places. We're gonna track them all down, but I wanted to start with the house because that is by far the most recognizable part of this movie. It's incredible looking. So we're gonna take you to the rest of the locations one by one right now. So cut to the very first scene of the town. Pippi is with the other two kids being towed by the horse. You can see the windows and you can see this odd brick. The brick has been replaced or it's just a, a different shade. Here's a better shot of that, but you can see it in the movie too. And at the same time, Miss Bannister is coming down with the kids from the orphanage with the bus. And the bus comes down and stops right here. Obviously, a lot of this has been redone. And it's the horse, my man. What are we going to buy today, Pippi? A grand piano. They don't sell pianos in there. They might today. Well, can you play the piano? 
How do I know until I've tried? To play the piano without a piano <laughs> takes a lot of practice, I can tell you. So they go into this store, which is now an ice cream store, but in the movie it is like a hardware store. They don't, the camera doesn't go in there, but they walk into this, and this is where Pippi wants to buy a piano at the hardware store. What's going on over there? Children's home kids come for their haircut and teeth pulling. Don't they ever have any fun when they come to town? Let's go play with them. Hi, what flavor ice cream do you like best? Fuck off. It's against the rules. So this is really the main part of that scene in town. The orphanage kids come down right past this. You can see this roof and that building, that little store with the stars on the top, that is the, it's like a hair cutting place. And as the little kid says, haircuts and teeth pulling. And this is where Pippi first comes in contact with the assistant to Miss Bannister. Fuck off, it's against the rules. Listen, I want you to go to the ice cream truck and I want you to get lots of ice cream and every kind of candy that they have. You won't get away with this. I'm telling Miss Bannister and she'll soon suck your hat. Miss Bannister? That settles it. Now we're going to have a ball. Now you mean you want 64 ice cream cones? And Nessie's Crunch and bubblegum. And can we have 265 O'Henry bars? You just help, help yourself. <laughs> it's all yours. <laughs> Come on, kids, it's Timmy Long Stocking Day. So this is the center of town. This is exactly where the famous ice cream food fight takes place. This is the scene that all kids loved watching that movie right here. Probably the most interesting fun fact about this movie is while the kids are eating ice cream, it's ice cream, but during the food fight, it was too hot during the time when they were filming it, so they used mashed potatoes and food coloring. Sounds gross, especially since the fact that they used real milk, and you can imagine how gross that started to smell after hours of filming this food fight. Nevertheless, I'm sure it was a lot of fun for these kids. Okay, Mr. Nielsen, time to do your stuff. Pippi jumps on the motorcycle, drives down, and right to this area over here. So in the movie, this is actually under construction, the Roxby Construction Company or something like that. You can see they have constructed a wooden ramp and some scaffolding that are up against the wall here. And this is how Pippi ends up launching into the air on the motorcycle with the other kids. lands right in front of the Villa Villa Coola toy store. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> All right, so we're at a local school here. This is the school that Pippi visits when she is talking to the kids through the window and the teacher says, Pippi, you're disrupting my class. Tommy. 
Pippi is talking to the kids in the tree, which is right over here. Now the tree is obviously gone. As a kid, I always thought that she was so much higher in the tree, but really she was only just a few feet off the ground. That branch just kind of jetted out from the main part of the tree and was right about here. And she looked in to the window while the kids were trying to learn. Just off to the left, you can see the brick. There's a line where the building is a little recessed, so you can make that out. So this is definitely the window where she's looking in. So Leslie discovered that there's still an indentation in the ground. This is right where the tree was, right there. So that's how close, it was really close to the, to the school. Some perspective for you. I'm afraid you can't stay there. It's disrupting the class. I'd like to help you, but you make that impossible. So this pretty recognizable spot here is the Roxby Orphanage in the movie. The two-story porches are what is by far the most recognizable part. Beautiful building and now I believe it's a private school. Unfortunately it has gone through some major restoration. Well unfortunately fortunately it's gone through some major restoration and changed so much that restoration took place in 1997. I'm not sure how long that took, but doing some major research and looking back at some of the photos that we could find online, I think that this is the original part of the building. These two windows, two stories with two windows each. I think that's the original and this has been added on, uh, completely disguising how it looked in the movie. What's the glue man? My friend up there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Come on! Don't be afraid! Jump! It's Chrissy and Billy! Mr. Nielsen, you're exactly what I need. You gotta jump! When she climbs up that telephone pole, it would be kind of right in here. And she would climb up and climb across, I believe, right here. Even though the third floor has been removed, I believe that's where that third floor was because when she's climbing that pole, you can see in the background those pointy church windows and the white door in the background. So I think that that was done right here. So the thing that I think changed was it no longer has that third floor. So in the movie, that's what the third floor would have looked like. That's what Pippi would have crawled out of and crawled into when saving the kids. Although it's really difficult to see the shot when the kids are coming out of the orphanage, getting onto the bus, it was shot from right about here. Again, very, very difficult to, to identify because it's just so completely redone now. Beautiful school, but unfortunately it's changed so much. So one of the final scenes in this movie is right here at the end of the main road in the town at the docks where Pippi is leaving with her father going back to the Curry Curry Islands so she can be a princess and Annika and Tommy and the rest of the town are standing on this dock here waving goodbye to her and you can line up some of these shots. And if you've seen the movie, then you know that she felt bad for Annika and Tommy and decided to jump off the boat and swim back so she can keep living at the Villa Villa Coola and keep playing with the kids. You okay, Mr. Nielsen? 
So not a huge scene, but still a pretty important scene. But I didn't want to end it here. I wanted to end it back at the house because that's really the most important part of the movie. But I wanted to show you that this is what it looks like now. But whenever you need me, you know how to reach me. Come on, let's go home. Freedom calls and Pippi runs the girl who never and just like that, we're back at the Villa Villa Coola at this beautiful house. Leslie, did you have an amazing time finding all these locations? Oh yeah, we'll see you guys next time, right? Now definitely be sure to check out her YouTube account. It's Leslie Love. I'll put all the information down below. She does, this is her thing. I mean, she's the moving location, movie location pro. So definitely check her stuff out. And we're going to get out of here, go get something to eat and enjoy beautiful Amelia Island. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.